Um, the questions I asked was, when we're spending this much money for, for the citizens, I think they should be asked and, and re replied to in a public forum. Some questions were right to the point, I know, and I guess it may be hard to answer or whatever, but I hope nobody takes it personal. You know, it's just, to me, it was questions, and I got most of my questions from the public and the citizens, and, you know, I think they should have been asked in public and answered. At our last council meeting, someone said that uh, they'd hate to be responsible for possible life, loss of life at the damn fair. So would I, since I live a quarter of a mile up from it. I'm probably the only council member that lives on Smith Creek, so I, I hope it don't fail. Uh, I also hate to be responsible for the loss of the quality of life for our citizens. You know, we live in a, a low-income area. You know, we got fixed-income people. You know, if two dollars a month is nothing to some people, congratulations. I, you know, I congratulate you on that. But for some, it's a lot of money, and that's why tonight I asked some of the questions I did. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Bob, yes. Uh, thank you. Very good presentation. Ask, answered a lot of questions that I did not have to ask. Bobby. Thank you for your honesty about what's going on. I really appreciate it. Jennifer, thank you for joining us. So we don't have to hear about that in closed session anymore. <laughs> um, I think the dam's a major issue. What Bobby said to me is very important. It's part of our infrastructure. The water that we sell to the county starts right there at that dam. We don't sell water to the county. 47% of what's going to pay for that dam, we're not going to get. My concern is, is when we pay for all that money for the dam, we have to continue to work on our infrastructure within the community to get the water where it's got to go. I think the dam's important, and Lord, I'm not a qualified person to tell you whether it's good or not, but if the state mandates it, I'm in public education. The state mandates a lot of things we got to do. They don't just send us any money to get it done. We just have to do it. We just have to do it. And other than that, the parking, all those things that have opened up downtown, I wish we could find more places to park. Because my wife and I eat out quite often. She's going to spend more time than I care to spend at that new quilting place. <laughs> it's just what it is. But I think it's a nice problem to have. We just have to solve it. And I appreciate all of you coming out, the questions you ask. And uh, I think everybody that's running for town council was at this meeting today. Congratulations for running. Good luck. Thank you. Hey, uh, I want to uh, mention again about the Flag Day ceremony at, uh, on Thursday at 5.30, the amphitheater. Uh, it is a, uh, it, it's presented as it was last year. It was a really wonderful program. You learn a lot more about the meaning of our flag and, and how it's put together. If I understand correctly, there's going to be uh, food to follow. That's uh, a fundraising uh, event at, at right after the presentation. So I want to thank you folks for the presentation you gave us tonight. It was very eye-opening. Uh, and one thing about, you can say, it's very common about uh, roads, bridges, and dams. They're not like fine wine. They don't improve with age. They only degrade, and the, at the rate of de degradation in, uh, increases as time goes by. So I think we are uh, looking at getting it started probably at the latest hour we can get it started on. And it definitely needs to be done. Uh, Bob, I appreciate your input on this. I can highly respect that. Uh, since you've been with it so long that you have a great understanding of it. Um, Jennifer, thanks for being on board with us here. I uh, look forward to working or uh, seeing your, your, your work here. And uh, also about the downtown parking, we've discussed it at length, and it is an important issue. Uh, it is a wonderful uh, problem to have, that, that we have uh, the potential for too much traffic for the parking that we have. But, I don't want that to detour anyone from being here. So anyway, we need to thank our way through that. Thank you. Thanks, Mayor. Uh, welcome, Jennifer. Thank you. And thank you for your presentation and also Bobby. And I think that we've been asking questions. I know that we have since I first heard that. 
uh, presentation in 2011, and you all have been very good at answering questions. And particularly, it was very good to see the video and all those great photos. Help put everything into perspective. So I appreciate your patience with us and in answering all the questions throughout the years. Um, I do have an announcement. As Bob mentioned, everybody here is running for office. Most everybody knows that there is an election fast approaching in November. Three council seats will be up for grabs. After eight years on town council, six as vice mayor, and at this time in my life, I have made the decision not to run for town of Clifton Forge Council in November. Several good candidates have filed to run for council, which I think is very exciting. And I hope they believe in moving forward with the progress that we have made in the last eight years, and that they believe in growing the town and making it a better place to work, play, and live, who realize that the leadership of a community means everything in protecting the quality of life and choice in that community. Because Clifton Forge does not have districts when a council person is elected, that person represents the entire town. Everyone is a constituent. This leads to considering a variety of opinions, but ultimately the person elected needs to consider what is best for the entire town. The whole picture and not special interest are projects. When voting for a candidate, please consider a person who has the good of the entire community in mind. A person who interacts with different groups in the community and listens to a variety of thoughts. I strongly believe in terms, and I can just say that for myself, and that elected officials should step aside for new people with fresh ideas who have a, give them an opportunity to run. I strongly believe the town of Clifton Forge would benefit from more diversity on the council, diversity in gender, color, and age. I'm grateful for the opportunity to have served the town with Darlene Burchin as town manager and Carl Brinkley as mayor and by working in partnership with the various residents who have served on town council. There are so many ways to serve a community and to give back to a town that provides beauty, friendship, support, and welcome. I look forward to the opportunity to serve Clifton Forge and the Allegheny Highlands in many other ways. And who knows, I might run again in two years. Absolutely. <laughs> you might miss it too you're much. You're gonna miss it too much, yeah. Well, thank you. We, we appreciate all the service you have given. You don't dare think you're going to get off of here until the end of the year, so forget that. <laughs> but anyway, I, one thing I have uh, to you, Miss Pam, is a little note here as always, like full run. Uh, equipment is being, has been installed at our children's park on, in the Roxbury project. Uh, we are making a lot of progress over there. Uh, I just went by this afternoon and talked to Jerry Johnson and they have completely removed the house at 238 Roxbury. There's a clean home site that will soon have a house put in to replace the one that was taken down. We have three of the houses under contract. A couple of them are, uh, we need to go through the asbestos abatement program to clean the houses and all the asbestos before any other work will be done. So we are making fairly decent progress on Roxbury. I hope that by the end of, I guess the end of this year, darling, we hope and pray that about 90% of it's going to be done. So no, 100%. 100%. 100. Well, 100. I'd go 95 and be happy. No, it has to be 100, Carl. Okay, we'll go for 100. But anyway, I, I want to congratulate you for being hired, and I look forward to working with you. Exactly. And uh, these nice folks came in here. My old buddy there, she, uh, we've known each other for a couple of years. And we do appreciate y'all's presentation tonight. It was eye opening, I think. And then that old boy sitting back there with whiter hair than I don't have anymore. Uh, Bobby, I appreciate his work over the years at Water Street and Plant. I think with people like that, that's the reason we've been successful. So with that, I would ask for a motion to adjourn this meeting. I so move.